Azbillahimni shaytan rajim bismillah rahman rahim I'm Javed Jangi with the same channel on YouTube that is inspiring tutors and I'm with federal board chemistry class 10 or grade 10 okay uh, now I am with the chapter 11 which is organic chemistry now uh, here is the article or uh, topic is 11.2 the sources of organic compounds organic compounds are prepared naturally by animals and plants animals synthesize two main groups of organic compounds so that is proteins and fats proteins are meat mutton chicken and eggs etc fats are present in milk butter etc plants synthesize carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins etc moreover that plants buried under earth's crust are converted to biochemical processes to coal, petroleum and gas. These materials are the main sources of organic compounds. You can get thousands of organic compounds by the destructive distillation of coal and fractional distillation of petroleum. Quantities of each source are given in the figure below. You can see here, okay, from the textbook. Figure 11.1 .1, sources of organic compounds. Now coal. Coal is a blackish complex mixture of compounds of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. It also contains small amounts of nitrogen and sulfur compounds. Coal was formed by the decomposition of dead plants buried under the earth's crust millions of years ago. Conversion of food into coal is called carbonization. It is a very slow biochemical process. It takes place in the absence of air under high pressure and high temperature over a long period of time about 500 millions of years as shown in figure 11.2 which contains about 40 percent carbon so depending upon the extent of carbonization process four types of coal are found these types differ with respect to carbon content volatile matter and moisture table 11.2 shows the detail of contents of different types of coal and their uses in daily life and industry okay now you can see here Figure 11.2 the formation of coal in different stages with increase of pressure. You can see here coal, pet, pit, lignite, bituminous, and anthracite. Okay. Pit contains 60% carbon content, uses inferior quality coal used in kiln. Lignite or lignite. 70% of carbon contents, it is soft coal used in thermal power station. Bituminous, 80% of carbon content, it is commonly common variety of coal used as household coal. Now, anthracite, 90% of carbon contents, superior quality and hard coal that is used in industry. Okay. So, coal means coal. Okay. Now, coal has become a major source of organic compounds because of destructive distillation the strong heating of coal in the absence of air is called what destructive distillation as we know coal contains elements like carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and sulfur so destructive distillation of coal provides a large number of organic compounds along with a few inorganic compounds these products are number one coal gas what is coal gas mixture of hydrogen methane and carbon monoxide it produces heat heat when burnt in air. Therefore, it is mainly used as fuel in industry. It is also used to provide an inert or reducing atmosphere in various metallurgical processes. Okay. Now, second one is ammonical liquid. Is a solution of ammonia gas in water. It is used to prepare nitrogenous fertilizers. For example, when it is treated with sulfuric acid, it produces ammonium sulfate fertilizer. Number three, coal tar is a thick black liquid. It's a mixture of more than 200 different organic compounds, mostly aromatic. <coughs> These compounds are separated by fractional distillation. Some of the important aromatic compounds are benzene, phenol, toluene, aniline, etc. These chemicals are used to synthesize drugs, dyes, explosive paints, varnishes, plastics, synthetic fiber, and pesticides. Besides these valuable chemicals, the black residue of the coal tar called pitch 
इज ऑफटेन इट इज यूज फॉर सर्फेसिंग ऑफ रोड्स एंड लूप वही जिसको लुक भी कहते हैं तारकोल भी कहते हैं ना फोर्थ वन इज वट कोक इज नाइन्टी परसेंट कार्बन नाइन्टी एट परसेंट कार्बन इट इज लेफ्ट बी एंड रेजिडी ऑफ कोल वैन कोल इज सब्जेक्टेड टू डिस्ट्रिक्टिव डिस्टिलेशन इट लूज इज ऑल इट्स वोलेटाइल कंपाउंड कंपोनेंट्स एंड लीव बिहाइंड सॉलिड रेजिडी कॉल्ड कोक इट इज मेनली यूज एज रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट इन एक्सट्रेशन ऑफ मेटल्स स्पेशली आयरन इट इज ऑल्सो यूज एज फ्यूल नाउ सम क्वेश्चन नीन द गैसेज विच आर फाउंड इन कोल गैस नंबर टू इज कोल टार आर कंपाउंड वट इज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ कोल टार नंबर थ्री वट इज कोक फॉर वट पर्पज इट इज यूज नंबर फोर विच इज द बेस्ट क्वालिटी ऑफ कोल नंबर फाइव वट इज द डिस्ट्रिक्टिव डिस्टिलेशन ओके ना इंटरेस्टिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन यू कैन सी है साइंटिस्ट आर वर्किंग ऑन वेज टू कन्वर्ट कोल इन टू गैस अंडर गाउ सो दैट इट विल नॉट हैव टू बी माइंड दिस विल अलाउ अस टू यूज स्मॉल सीम्स ऑफ कोल और सीम्स डेट आर डेंजरस टू माइंड बिकॉज ऑफ वीकनेस इन द साउंडिंग रॉन्ग्स ओके नाउ पेट्रोलियम ओके पेट्रोलियम इज अ डार्क ब्राउनिश और ग्रीनिश ब्लैक कलर्ड विस्कस लिक्विड इट्स अ कॉम्प्लेक्स मिक्सचर of uh, of several solid liquid or gaseous hydrocarbons in water mixed with salts and earth particles petroleum is a main source of organic compounds it consists of several compounds mainly hydrocarbons these compounds are separated by fractional distillation means separation of fractions or components depending upon their boiling point ranges these functions fractions and uh, their uses are provided in table 16.1 in chapter number 16 Each fraction is not a single compound; rather, each of it consists of different organic compounds. Okay. Now, uh, distillation test of petroleum products significance. Distillation means volatility. Characteristics of hydrocarbons have an important effect on their safety and performance, especially in the case of fuels and solvents. The boiling range gives information on the composition, the properties, and the behavior of the fuel during storage and use. Volatility is the major determinant of the tendency of a hydrocarbon mixture to produce potentially explosive vapors. Moreover, distillation characteristics are uh, critically important for both automotive and aviation gasoline affecting starting. Okay, uh, warm up and tendency to vapor log at a high operating temperature or at high altitude or both. The presence of high boiling point components in these and other fuels can significantly affect the degree of formation of solid combustion deposits. Test method distillation test carried out as per ASTM test method D eighty six equivalent IP. Test method is IP one two three. Now scope this test method covers the atmospheric distillation of petroleum products using a laboratory batch distillation unit to determine the boiling characteristic of natural gas or lean. light and middle distillates automotive spark ignition engine fuel aviation gasoline aviation turbine fuel diesel fuel special petroleum spirit naphthas white spirits kerosene mean k2 and furnace fuels procedure number 1 based on its composition vapor pressure expected ibp or ep or combination thereof the sample is placed in one of five groups operator's arrangement condenser temperature and other operational variables are defined by the group in which the sample falls number 2 under normal sample is distilled under prescribed condition for the group in which the sample falls the distillation is performed in a laboratory batch distillation unit at ambient pressure under condition that are designed to provide approximately one theoretical plate fractionation okay now systematic observation of temperature readings and volumes of condensate are made depending on the needs of the user of the data okay the volume of the residue and the losses are also recorded number 3 14 number 3 at the conclusion of the distillation the observed vapor temperatures can be corrected for barometric pressure and data are examined for conformance to what procedural requirements such as distillation rates the test is repeated if any specified condition has not been met number 4 test 
रिजल्ट्स आर कॉमनली एक्सप्रेस एज परसेंट वाइब्रेटेड और परसेंट रिकवर्ड वर्चूज कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टेम्परेचर इधर इन अ टेबल और ग्राफिकली एज अ प्लॉट ऑफ द डिस्टिलेशन कर्व नेक्स्ट वन इज स्पेसिफाइड लिमिट्स ऑफ मेन फ्यूल ग्रेड्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द रेलवेंट स्पेसिफिकेशन नंबर वन डिस्टिलेशन आई बी पी डिग्री सेल्सियस टेन परसेंट रिकवर्ड एट द रेट ऑफ डिग्री सेल्सियस ए वी जी ए एस हंड्रेड एन एल लीटर पर लीटर डेफ्टन इज नॉट मैं नाउ यू टेन परसेंट रिकवर्ड इज सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट मैक्सिम वेद एस एम एस and hobc high octane okay uh, is what uh, that is fixed at pl and pa 80% maximum and avtur mean jet oil jet oil is equal to 205 maximum okay 205 now sko mean k2 oil jisko hum kehte hain mitti ka tel theek hai iske specified nahi diesel oil ka specified नहीं है टेन परसेंट पे वेद एस ट्वेंटी परसेंट रिकवर्ड एट द रेट ऑफ डिग्री सेल्सियस टू हंड्रेड मैगजिम है फॉर के टू ऑयल मीन कैरोसिन ऑयल ओके मटी का तेल ओके नाउ डॉक्टर टेस्ट नंबर टू सिग्निफिकेंस सल्फर प्रेजेंट एज मस्पेंट्स और एज नाइट्रोजन सल्फाइड इन डिस्टिलेट फ्यूल्स एंड सॉलवेंट्स कैन अटैक मैनी मेटेलिक एंड नॉन मेटेलिक मटीरियल्स इन फ्यूल एंड अदर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम नेगेटिव रिजल्ट इन द डॉक्टर टेस्ट एंश्योर दैट द कंसनट्रेशन ऑफ दीज कंपाउंड इज इनसफिशियंट टू काज सच प्रॉब्लम इन नॉर्मल यूज नंबर टू और बी टेस्ट मैथड डॉक्टर टेस्ट इज कैरिड आउट इन अकॉर्डेंस विद आई पी टेस्ट मैथड आई पी थ्री जीरो और थर्टी इक्विल एंड ए एस टी एम टेस्ट मैथड हैज वॉट इज दैट इज डी फोर नाइन फाइव टू Now scope. This test method is intended primarily for the detection of mercipants in AV and turbine fuels. Okay, motor fuels, kerosene, and similar petroleum products. This method may also provide information on hydrogen sulfide and elemental sulfur that may be present in these samples types. Okay. Now reagents, doctor solution or sodium plumbite. Number two, sulfur powder. ओके नाउ व्हाट इज द प्रोसीजर नाउ शेक विगरेसली नंबर वन शेक विगरेसली टुगेदर इन अ टेस्ट ट्यूब टेन एम एल ऑफ द सैंपल बीइंग टेस्टेड एंड फाइव एम एल ऑफ सोडियम पलम्बाइट सॉल्यूशन फॉर अबाउट फिफ्टीन सेकेंड नंबर टू एट अ स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ प्योर सब लाइन फ्लावर्स ऑफ सल्फर सो दैट प्रैक्टिकली ऑल ऑफ इट फ्लोट्स ऑन द इंटरफेस between the sample and the sodium plumbite solution after shaking number 3 shake again for 15 seconds allow to settle and observe within 2 minutes number 4 it is important to avoid adding more sulfur than will just cover the interface about 20 to 25 mg is the proper quantity which can be estimated with a little practice if too much sulfur is added any possible discoloration will be masked Masked by the excess of sulfur. Number five, if the solution is discolored or if the yellow color of the sulfur film is noticeable mask, report the test as positive and consider the sample as sore. If the sample remains unchanged in color and the sulfur film is bright yellow or only slightly discolored with gray or flecked with black, report the test as negative and consider the sample as sweet. Number six, in case of positive result, mean must see pattern. Sulfur test will be carried out in accordance with ASTM test method D three double two seven to qualify the hydrogen sulfide. Okay, now uh, natural gas. If a mixture of low molecular mass hydrocarbon, the main components about eighty five percent is methane, along with other gases, ethane, propane, and butane. Its origin is similar to that of Coal and petroleum. Therefore, it is found that uh, found with their deposits as shown in Figure eleven point three. Natural gas is used as fuel in homes as well as in industries. It is used as fuel in automobiles as compressed natural gas (CNG). Short abbrevi or abbreviation is CNG ka compressed natural gas. Natural gas is also used to make carbon black and fertilizer. Okay, you can see it. 
फिगर लेवन पॉइंट थ्री अक्रंच एंड ड्रिलिंग ऑफ गैस विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड सोई गैस नाउ प्लांट्स लिविंग प्लांट्स सेंथिसाइज मैक्रोमोलिक्यूल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स प्रोटीन्स ऑयल्स एंड वाइटामस द बेसिक यूनिट ऑफ ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स इज ग्लूकोज विच इज सेंथिसाइज बाई प्लांट्स थ्रू फोटो सेंथिसिस ग्लूकोज दैन फर्दर पोलिमिदाइज टू फॉर्म सुक्रोज स्टार्च एंड सेलुलोज proteins are found in the pulses and beans proteins are prepared by the fixation of nitrogen by bacteria found on the roots of plants oils are found in the seeds of plants such as sunflower grape seed palm coconut and groundnut vitamins are found in apple and citrus fruits besides these major food items plants also give us gums rubber medicine etc now since this is in lab or laboratory just about 200 years ago it was considered that organic compounds could be synthesized only by plants and animals because they possess vital force which is very essential for synthesis of organic compounds but the synthesis of urea nh2 co nh2 in laboratory by fm voller in 1828 opened the discipline on field synthesis of organic compounds in laboratory up till now more than 10 million organic compounds have been prepared in the laboratories they range from simple to complex compounds they are present in drugs and medicine flavors and fragrances plastics and paints synthetic fibers and rubber cosmetics and toilet toiletries and detergents insecticides and pesticides etc now what is the uses of organic compounds no doubt thousands of organic compounds are synthesized naturally by animals and plants but millions of organic compounds are being prepared in the laboratories by the chemists these compounds are part of everything from food we eat to the various items we use in daily life to fulfill our needs number 1 uses as food the food we eat daily such as milk eggs meat vegetables etc contain carbohydrates protein fats vitamins etc are all organic stuff number 2 use it as clothing all types of clothing we wear apparels we use a bed sheet etc are made up of natural fibers mean cotton silk and wool etc and synthetic fibers nylon dacron acrylic etc all these are organic compounds okay now third one uses of houses as a houses uh wood is cellulose naturally synthesized organic compound it is used for making houses and furniture of all kinds okay which is also called timber okay uses as fuel the fuels we use for automobiles and domestic purposes are coal petroleum and natural gas these are called fossil fuels all of these are organic compounds uses as medicines a large number of organic compounds naturally synthesized by plants are used as medicine by us most of the life saving medicines and drugs such as antibiotics mean inhibit or kill microorganism which causes infectious diseases are synthesized in laboratories uses as raw material organic compounds are used to prepare a variety of material such as rubber paper ink drugs dyes paints varnishes pesticides etc okay now some question define petroleum number 2 what type of compounds are synthesized by plants number 3 what is the basic unit of carbohydrates and how is it synthesized number 4 cng stands for number 5 are existence owes to organic compounds command now your comments your ideas your feedback your answers should reach to our uh, this inspiring to it uh, channel uh, let us by when ever you feel some interest and gain some knowledge stay with us till then please share view subscribe and like till then i love you